Welcome to Railway Empire. Now this will be my first playthrough. Uh, there's no mods, but I do have a lot of the DLC. Actually, I think I have all of the DLC. So we're going to start from the very beginning. We'll see how this goes. Basically, I am a noob at this. I have not done Chapter 1. We'll give it a go. <clears throat> chapter 1, Great Plains. First chapter takes you to the construction sites of the Union Pacific Railroad, which is started. In 1863, tracks were built westward to establish the first transcontinental line. Uh, while you are conquering the vastness of the Great Plains and the heights of the Rocky Mountains uh, with your tracks, you will learn about the basics of railway empire. Thomas Clark Durant, the visionary in charge of the Union Pacific, will assist you. That's nice. So this hopefully will be the learning. Pause mode, normal. Don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, initial capital 650 starting at Omaha zero competitors so this is camp this is the learning wait do I have to do all these okay pause mode normal let's, let's go. go time is money all right when visiting the gentleman's club Roger Smythe is always impeccably dressed and top of toe in a suit top hat and cane for him a pedantic Pedantic. Pedantic. Sometimes approach. I think about giving everything up and dedicating my life to poetry. Thank you. How I'm about you? No, I'm still talking, reading your stuff. Counting as much as a matter, of course, uh, for him. Having a precision plan for each company, he has no problem taking advantage of the competitor's weakness. If a successful competitor uh, bids, builds a train station in a city. I did an evaluation of the contenders and I am of, the best actually, choice. Right, okay. <clears throat> what is your name? Tasmanite. All right, what's your uh, company? What's the name? Meticulous planning, tables, figures, oh, right. and Antarctica. hard facts. Union Pacific Railroad is all it lets me have. Uh, Shy actions are 50 percent more. Manchester new constructed uh, factories are 50 percent cheaper. Backhandling is able to buy a town's factory without an auction. Oh, the rest are just go. Yep, okay, thank you. Let's move in, see what we get. In 1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. Hoping it actually began. teaches me how to do it. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. A lot of hard work. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished to tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel fire and steam never before had anything like this been ventured but the time was ripe yeah i guess it was right. greetings my name is thomas clark <laughs> durand yep exactly cool. the head of union pacific we will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> sure. First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Yep. Move the camera in all directions. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Nice. So just so press the scroll and move the mouse. Uh, hang on, just so press it. Press the scroll. All oh, right. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Yep. Both cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You gotta tell me what the 
next step is switch to building construction mode and build a train station. Alright, cool. So, sitting on a small train station. Okay. Well, how much money we got? 650. Start with a small one. Okay. Control. Reduce rotation speed. Right. Uh, construct rotate building. Okay, there we go. So you can actually. Right, where's our uh, track? You just probably want it. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. Can we move anywhere else? No, just straight there. That's probably the best way. It's going to go through there though, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want to go through the yard. How do we do that? Uh, I'm hard to do this at the truth. I want to know, then pay for the track of cleaning. Okay, but can we move this? Oh, yes, there we go. Click on it. And that way, we actually go around with a zero gradient. Now okay. create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. Initially, your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Manage, buy. Well, there's only one train to buy, Philadelphia. So, 45. Right, I'm in kilometers per hour for those who are wondering. Okay. Initially, the train is this on your paper. It's not much uh, without a locomotive. Okay, cool. Did I just buy? Uh, ooh, do I need personnel? Additionally, each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Now join your two stations to the rail line by selecting them one after the other. All right, so from there to... There. That's enough for your first rail line. Now confirm it so it becomes active. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. Now this is a tutorial, I'm sure there's plenty of other tutorials on... However, on as each result. locomotive needs water, sand and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. Supply tower... Along the route. It's saying about there, is it? Yep. Very good. The train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Rural train station? What did you mean a rural? All oh, right. Uh, rotate. Yeah, there we go. Wait, why is it not rotating? It only seems to change the map. Oh, shift. Shift and then... Rolly ball, hey, hey, there we go. All right, so there's Omaha. Yep, that's probably good. Let's bring it in. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. 
As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Well, let's upgrade Omaha. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. Right. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. A side track. Okay. So pause. No, no. Oh, you don't get to. I guess we do. So first, create a track. And then, okay. So I'm guessing I just drag out. Oh, yeah. oh, do I have to go out first? And then, oh, there we go, there's a zero there. And then... Oh, there's a 1% grade. 2%. Oops. How do I undo that? However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack, as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Now open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. of the switch. Signal at correct position. Signal pointing to switch. Do I need another one? No, just the one. Okay. Control remove. All right. Signal at correct position, signal pointing the switch. Ah. Right, you can't get that either. Right, how do we turn it around? Ah, shift volleyball. There we go. That is not working. Signal point of the switch. Okay. Oh, it's sitting up there. Now make sure that the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so the trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. To do this, hold down the shift button and select the signal. Excellent. Now do the same on the parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. And shift. Very good. I'm sure that wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. 
You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Right, I'm wondering if that track's too far away from this. Probably you need another one there. Now Close assemble stops. a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. Alright, another Philadelphia. To the new railway line. Close. So set up a railway line between Corn and Norfolk. A rural station through Omaha to Norfolk. Wait, so do I put there as well? Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, and Excellent. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We are still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Yep, sounds good. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. Ah. So close that, select that, and that one. Social maintenance for 80,000. Yep. Right. We've been lollygagging for long enough. <laughs> lollygagging? I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. Do not disappoint me. All right. So this is just the opening. This is... Uh, can we pause it? tips and tricks paused okay um, I will go through this I'll learn how to apply it and uh, we'll make some more episodes now this is just the opening tutorial I'm gonna mark it as that if you've already seen this game before this is all uh, rehash and stuff that you might have seen before I've even seen other people do this um, which I looked at it to find out whether I want to play this game loving it so far uh, kind of reminds me of some other railroad tycoon games that I've played Thanks, Sid Myers. Um, <clears throat> so this will be a, a regular series coming out in the future. Keep an eye out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers. Cheers.